Hey everyone, it's Kenjay and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm actually wanting to start this new series called Real Talk, uh, which is basically a collection of talks of me just really reflecting on my life and where I am in my life, as well as sharing things that I'm learning from like either the books that I'm reading, as well as some of like the things that are like going on in the world that I just wanted to just discuss and just um, share with you guys. Uh, so for today, I, I wanted to kick it off uh, by talking about transitions. And the reason why I wanted to talk about transitions is because it's just been really heavy on my heart uh, because I've been reflecting back on the past couple of months and I've actually gone through like this like really huge shift in my life. And so um, I used to work in corporate America um, a couple months ago and had a little bit of a break um, without like not working at all and then having to go into um, uh, retail, uh, fashion retail. So over the months I've learned so much about myself and like the transition from not having a job to not having a job and then like not having a job and then getting a job. Um, two transitions that were like completely on opposite worlds. Um, but I wanted to talk about though, um, you know, what I've taken away um, this past three months. And so the one thing that I had to learn um, during those, during that time period was really learning how to adapt. So the transition that I faced was more um, planned and I was being able to prepare for that transition. So it wasn't as over overwhelming um, as a transition that was completely out of the blue. Um, I've been through a place uh, where I was let go for a job because um, like we downsized and so I had to figure something out on the fly. Um, but uh, with this particular um, circumstance, I was able to prepare myself for the transition and the second thing that I learned from the transitions that I went through the past couple months uh, was really learning how to prioritize my my time um, because during the time that I wasn't working like I had a lot of time on my hands and I, I used most of that time to really plan out my content for my Instagram um, I wasn't really focusing on blogging because I haven't written in so long um, but I, I really did focus my attention on Instagram and I was able to like, you know, create content and it was amazing. Like I had all this time and I was loving it. And then I started my new job and it was like literally a 180 and I had no time. And uh, if you know anything about working in retail, um, your schedule is unpredictable. Um, and you gotta work with that. And that's something that I like going back to number one, I had to adapt to. And um, as soon as I started my, my new job, I was like, I was so overwhelmed. I was so overwhelmed because I was like, how am I going to like, create content? How am I going to do all of this? Um, but the one thing I had, I, had just, I was like, you know what? I need to prioritize my time. So what I did is I had to plan out my content. I had to, you know, really plan out my schedule on when I was gonna like, you know, shoot my, my stuff. Um, for Instagram and also with YouTube. I just started YouTube like about a month and a half ago So I had to plan that so it was definitely a challenge. It still is a challenge. I'm still figuring it out I am NOT there yet, but I have learned that you know I have to prioritize my dream in order for me to move forward and so that's what I needed to do and I definitely suggest that you do that as well um, especially if you you have a chaotic schedule and um, number three what I learned about transitions um, in my life is that um, if you fall off the horse get right back up again um, we're all going to have something happen in our lives uh, regardless of work family so whatever the case is something you know we have to really prepare ourselves for when we're gonna get knocked off on our horse most of us are pursuing our dreams you know and sometimes it's probably not going the way that we want it to but we have to know that if we fall off get get back up and keep going keep pushing and um, I'm just so grateful that I have a group of friends and family and people who believe in me um, and see my value and know that I am gonna you know make my dream come true and so 
every time that I fall off, every time that I feel that I'm failing, um, I always remind myself that you are making progress and little progress is still progress and you're, if you're growing at a slow rate, that is fine with me. So that is what I wanted to share with you guys um, about what I've learned about transition, especially with seasons of life where there's change. And um, I hope that this inspires you, encourages you. That is really what the goal I would want for a Real Talk to be, is something to um, help other people who are pursuing their dreams um, know that they're not alone. So I hope that you guys love this video, and if you do, please like this video, comment down in the comment section, as well as subscribing to my YouTube channel. I would really, really, really appreciate it, and um, until next time, you guys, see ya!